the last night I had a bit of a strange dream. I was with an animal in the snow and nearby was an area where it was summertime and I was trying to persuade this animal to move out of the snow and go into this place where it was summertime. And I just could not convince this animal to leave its snowy realm. And the reason was is because this animal had lived all its life in the snow and had no idea what this other place was like and was scared to go. Now, I've got a little dog at the moment which I'm trying to train, so I'm guessing that might have something to do with it. But also, there was a lesson in it for me. And I'm not really one who usually... Uh, you know, looks at dreams for lessons. But in this case, there was something apparent. And that is that none of us want to move to an area that we can't relate to or don't know about. And there are so many people in the world where you try to convince them to move to a better life and they are very reticent to do so because they have no familiarity with how much better that is. For example, you know, a person with no education cannot appreciate the benefits of having a really good medita uh, education. And the same with a person who's not experienced meditation can't appreciate what it's like to have a really good meditation. So I want to share with you a little story about one thing that happened to me on retreat in the hope that it might encourage you and spur you on to try meditation or to do it at a deeper level. One thing that happened to me while I was meditating was that at some point in my meditation, uh, physical changes began to, to happen. And one of those was I felt a really freeing feeling in my stomach, as if my whole insides were relaxing around my stomach region. And it felt really good, like a beautiful, almost butterflies in your stomach, but really in a good way, like really just relaxing. And at first it felt strange, but after a while it actually felt quite normal to have a totally relaxed set of insides. And I realized at that point in time that that was normal. In fact, I had been holding uh, tightness in my stomach for years so that it had felt like that was the normal way to hold yourself. And the only way I can explain it is, you know when sometimes you're getting really stressed and you feel like there's knots in your stomach? And then the stress goes and you go back to what you think is normal. Well, perhaps there's another state which is even more relaxed than that. But because you've had that normal sense of uh, holding your stomach tight for a long period of time, for you that seems normal. But once you release all of the tension and realize there's another way to be physically, then you suddenly realize how you've been holding tension in your body the whole time. So that's just one example of a really clear physical benefit for me in meditation. But of course, there's so many more benefits uh, from the way I look at the world as well. And I hope that inspires you to, to go on and try things that you've never tried before because you, do ne you just don't know the benefits until you give them a go. Okay, thanks very much.